1648. The location is Woodcroft Castle. It still exists, although it's a private house, five miles in that direction near Helpston. What we are going to recreate actually happened, more or less. Now, I'm going to introduce to you the baddie of the piece. Can I have a load of booze? This gentleman is Dr. Michael Hudson, and he is Chief Spymaster to King Charles I of England. I told him, I did tell him. <laughs> now, um, I do believe, are we still kicking? You'll be dead in a minute, don't worry. <laughs> I do believe that Captain William Smart has a brother-in-law who is the local colonel, and I do believe the local colonel will hear about this. Colonel Winters! Do you have anything to say to this individual? Perhaps you might like to encourage him to surrender. <laughs> Dr. Hudson! What do you want? I think, sir, it would be a good idea if you would pop down and open your doors, don't you? You see what you're staring at here? So if you expect me to open the doors, you are vastly, vastly greater than the person. You have shot and wounded my brother in law. You are still afraid, God me. You have sown the wind, now you will reap the whirlwind, sir. Pox on you! <laughs> Over to you, Colonel Winters, and your officers. Please bear in mind, I'm completely neutral. <laughs> Front rank will kneel, second rank will close over. Take your pieces, check your scarring sticks, prepare to give fire. I will concede that that was indeed a stout defence, but that was nothing. Very shortly, very shortly, my good man, I will unleash my entire force on your gate. That's on your force! If you look to the east, you will see large clouds of dust. That is the main body of horse. They're coming. Coming for you. This thing that looks like a flower pot is actually called a patar. It's a shaped charm designed to blow those gates open. Carry on. I do believe the gates will go.
inside the castle and now dead. It's all on Dr. Hudson. Can he survive? I can hear them approaching. Well, there might be a few defenders left. No, I think they found him. Oh, he's not letting go. They're going to have to cut his hands off. There he goes. Still got some fight left in him, I think. These two sergeants have got plans though. It's tied in. <laughs> this wasn't in the script. <laughs> oh, they're now cutting out his tongue. This is exactly what they did. It actually happened this way. Hudson climbed out onto a ledge and hung off a gargoyle trying to escape. His hands were cut off and he did fall into the moat. He did get out, faced two parliamentarian sergeants, disemboweled him and ripped out his tongue. And his tongue was then put in a little glass box and paraded around the area to tell